Do you think many people will have to pay estate taxes? Most most people, the vast majority of people that are, are our clients anyway, don't have a high enough net worth right now, according to current law, that they'd have to pay estate taxes because the uh, federal estate tax exemption is almost $14 million right now. And so per that's person. per person. So for a married couple, that's $28 million. We don't have very many people uh, that very many customers that have it. And, and, and generally, you know, the people come in here, most of them don't have estates near that big. Um, if they do, we have other solutions to help them with advanced estate planning to minimize or eliminate uh, federal estate taxes. But that exemption amount per person of 14, almost $14 million is part of uh, Trump's tax cut or tax overhaul of 2018 set to expire in 2025. And what happens then, Jess? Um, it's probably so if it expires, Trump, it, it's going to go back to the original amount index for inflation. The original amount was like um, five something million per person. They've been indexing it for inflation. When Trump did all his tax cuts in 2018, he doubled it from what it was at that time. So if it doesn't get extended, it's estimated that it'll go back to around $7 million per person instead of the $14 million that it is right now. So that's that's the amount that you can leave as estate tax-free. Everybody's got to remember, we're not talking about income taxes. We're not talking about capital gains taxes. We're talking about a special tax called estate taxes, which is designed to tax rich people. And it's on the whole of everything that you leave in your estate. So even things that are going to be taxed anyway to the people that you leave them to, like your IRAs, when you leave them to a beneficiary, any money that they take, they have to take the money out within 10 years. And any money that they take out of it is going to be fully taxable. Well, even that money is included in this other tax that can get really high, really fast. The estate tax rates go up to 40% like that. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, it, it, that's why people want to avoid them. It's a very unfair tax because you've already paid tax on the money when you earned it or when you sold something for a profit and paid a capital gain tax on it. You paid property taxes, maybe if it was real estate all along, you were tax, 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 and then you die and the government wants to grab 40% of it. That's, that's not fair. And a part of our our job uh, as certified financial planners and uh, with Bob Benny Wealth Management is to try to help people be as good of stewards of their wealth as we can and avoid uh, legally, of course, uh, unnecessary uh, state taxes and stuff like that. Yeah, and there's different types of trusts than the ones than the revocable living trusts that we talked about today that can help people if they're in that right. um, if they have that problem good problem to have but yeah but you know another thing people don't think about too jesse is somebody might have a great big death benefit on a life insurance policy well you know if let's say that the estate tax exemption is seven million dollars and uh you've got exactly seven million dollars and you die except for in addition to the seven million dollars you have a five million dollar death benefit life insurance policy and you die so you have an estate worth seven million dollars but the way the irs treats that death benefit they add that onto your taxable estate and they're going to tax that five million dollars at about 40 percent. so two million of your five million dollar you know that's the kind of thing we try to help people figure out and avoid so yeah. we have one, a few other one more quick thing that i wanted to mention along with that too is that the estate tax and the gift tax are tied together. So that amount of money that you can leave tax-free to your kids, that's how much money the gifts that you give them while you're living is included in that amount. So you can't say, well, I'm just going to start giving all of my money to my kids before I die to avoid this estate tax problem. All of that is recorded in how yeah. much you've given is recorded when you go to do your estate taxes and it's included in that they're tied together and combined. So so we know all about all this stuff and we would like to to uh, to help you and not get 
too into the weeds on all the yeah. different kind of details, but we had a, a couple of other little questions or important things that we find we talk about with people in these estate planning appointments that we wanted to mention. Um, one of them is how can someone pick their successor trustee if it's not like a, I know for sure that I'm going to choose my oldest kid or yeah, whatever. Yeah, we help people figure that out. And for instance, we like it to be one of the beneficiaries because they have them and the other beneficiaries' best interest at heart more than anybody else. Mm -hmm. But sometimes that doesn't work. Like if if uh, your beneficiaries are your kids and they're young, they're too young, you know, to to be a successor. What you want with a successor trustee is somebody that's competent and trustworthy. Typically, for most of our our customers that we help with these, it's one of their children, maybe their oldest child. Maybe you have, for instance, a uh, one of your kids is a, a CPA. That'd be a perfect uh, 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 successor trustee. One of the things we try to avoid, as, like the plague, is having what's called a corporate trustee, which is a bank or a trust company, be the successor trustee. Why do we avoid that? They don't necessarily have the your kids or your beneficiaries' best interests at heart. And it's advantageous for them to drag out the process as long as possible because they they get a collective fee for being the trustee. You're yeah. you're paying them to be the trustee. They they're collecting that from the from the trust um, as long as it's open. So, I've been doing this for helping people with estate plans and trusts for about 25 years of my almost 30 year career. And I, I pretty much know the ins and outs of, of, of how to do this. And we'd love to help um, you um, and, uh, or your friends or anybody you know, answering questions or helping you set these things up.